Hi, this is Chris and I am your featured employee for AMA Monday. Okay, so I have here the first question. Do you think people are made for each other? I, of course, me and my bab is made for each other. But, you know, kidding aside, um, love is something that uh, it just happens. It's not, so you have to make it work. Yeah, bon. And yeah, if you're not really ready to commit, so I patoga. Next is what do you do aside from the regular stuff that you do on a daily basis? Hmm. So sometimes I'm pretty much just work, sleep, sometimes go out and um, chill with my friends. But one of the most irregular stuff that I do. If I have the time and the energy is I do like karaoke. Uh, yeah, and sometimes it's it's kinda like <laughs> bulabog in our neighbors, but I really love karaoke. Next is what do you love to do most? Now this one's easy. So I love cooking for others. Like um I'm usually the type of person that asks, what are your preferences? My One of my co-workers or some of my co-workers actually know that for a fact because I, I love the feeling that I know for myself that I'm not really a good cook but um, when people appreciate like, um, what you cook for them, <laughs> regardless of the fact that I'm, it's not maybe that good but they're happy eating your stuff, I mean it's worth it. Next. Question, do you have kids or a kid? I may look like I have given birth to three kids already, but no, I am not yet a mother. But I'm planning to hopefully soon. Mapa joke. The next question, I hope whoever asked this, you can sleep at night soundly. So why is the sky called sky? I don't know. Do I look like a dictionary? <laughs> well, kidding aside, maybe it's because it's pretty high in the sky. Maybe that's it. I'm not sure, but I think it suits the name sky for sky. The next is you're going to outer space. What planet do you want to see and why? First of all, I don't want to go to outer space. It. <laughs> I just can't. But for what it's worth. Um, I think I would go to Neptune. Um, aside from I love the color of the planet, it's very aesthetic. Um, I also like the fact that it's um, actually a Roman, Roman counterpart of Poseidon, which is a Greek god of the sea, of the sea which I love. But yeah, that's it. Um, next question is, if you have the power to create one rule or policy for Sufians to abide, what would it be and why? So for me, um, this is kind of weird, but um, I think that would be like, there is gonna be a theme, even if it's not gonna be like a daily thing or a weekly thing or something, like a theme that you have to be dressed as something for a day or for the week and then like the leads would choose like at least top three best dress so for example like you get to uh, you have to wear like your favorite superhero or your favorite anime character and then they would choose like the best dress uh, I think top three or top two and then there would be incentive for it as well I think that would help motivate like, I'm not sure for others, but for me, I think that would really motivate me. Incentives? Up next right here is, if there is, what good do you think the COVID pandemic has brought us? So, I know this um, pandemic really um, is a challenge for us. Um, me, personally, I've, I've been through a lot since the pandemic started because I was not able to go home with um, my family. My family is like in Davao, and I'm the one right here lang. And like every summer I get to go there, visit, but when the pandemic started, I was not able to. But um, if there is like a good thing that happened, it's that I get to spend that, that time that I have with the um, family that I have here left in Dumaguete. Um, I was able to enjoy uh, their company. I, I get to um, be with 
the people that I don't usually like hang out with because they don't have that time previously before the pandemic. And also, um, I was able to rediscover myself. Like I learned how to sew. Um, I get the chance. I, I yeah, I get the chance to do crochet again. Like also, yeah, I get to spend that time doing the things that I love that I was not able to do anymore because I was busy pre-COVID. This is kind of. I know for a fact that this is one of my friends. So um, the question is, I know you play League of Legends. What will you do if you see Darius and Volley Bear fighting in front of you and you got nowhere to run? So for those who does not know League of Legends, League of Legends is like, um, it's a game. It's a computer game. I forgot what it's. Um, category but uh, it's like if you're familiar with ml it's somewhat like that but on pc and i've been playing with this since i was college but now not really no, not so much um darius and volleyball volley bear i'm sorry are both top cleaners <laughs> sometimes volley bear kind of goes in jungle but um if they're fighting in front of me i would pretend that i'm timo I'm just gonna stand right there, not move. Hopefully, I will not get, <laughs> you know, <laughs> in the middle of their fight. I'm just gonna watch until one of them dies or both of them dies. Then I'm gonna move on to the lane where I will go. So <laughs> that's it. This is your motto in life. So I believe that all dead fish go with the flow. Um, it's weird, but it it kind of has like a point i don't like things that has a pattern or them i don't like like if i do something uh, it's just you know the usual kind of pattern or rhythm like um i like things to be spontaneous like sudden change i like changes i just don't want to do things regularly nothing like that <laughs> so yeah spontaneous Hello, if you were given an option to choose a boyfriend, would you pick a rich guy with a bad personality or a poor guy but ha hardworking? Please answer honestly. Okay, well that's easy. Because I'm not really a material girl. I'm, I'm okay with less things but as long as that person really loves me. And of course, he's hardworking. So what will you do if your boyfriend is rich? Be tau, but you know has a bad attitude, does not respect you, does not love you. So, with our situation right now, hardworking is really key. And also, someone that really loves you. Because I believe that no matter how hard the situation it is, as long as you both work for it, and, you know, do everything that you can, you really will, like, Alright, so this one question, for some reason, I know. <laughs> or I have the idea who sent this, but yeah. What's one plus one? Hmm, let me think. Eleven? <laughs> Joke! I don't know, to. I'm not sure, really. I forgot. I'm so bobo in math. That's just the one subject I don't like, then, but yeah. One plus one is two. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so um, I have here the next question. Are you a slow or fast eater? What meal do you think you can consume in less than a minute? That would be fries. Yeah, I can, I think, on good days, I can finish like one kilograms of fries alone. <laughs> yeah, but I am a slow eater because I like to enjoy the food that I eat. I'm a bit foodie, but yeah, I'm a slow, I'm a really slow eater. But um, there are those days that I like um, push myself to eat fast because I have to, but I'm really a slow eater, I swear. What is your favorite song and your genre? Okay, so I have a lot of favorite songs depending on my mood, but the all time would be Some Nights by Fun. And as for the genre, same thing. I have a lot of um, preferences when it comes to songs, but um, what goes 
on top would be pop, R&B, ballads, PM, those sort of um, genre. Okay, so how will you empower BPO agents who are struggling with society discriminating against them about this notion that they're just call center agents and not seeing it as a career? First of all, for those bashers out there, call center is a career. I have seen a lot of people working in, the, in this industry that um, became what they wanted to be as a person. And also, night differential is life, double pay is life, and of course, free coffee, food, and tea in the pantry is life. So keep hustling, guys. You can make it.